All right, ask that question again. All right, so the original question somebody asked in terms of the time travel thing, <laughs> if you could go ahead in time to when you're like 60 or 70 years old, what do you think you would tell yourself? What do you think your young, your young self, your, your current self would tell you to your older self? That one is um, hard to answer because, I mean, with the past, it's easy because you know how you were back then, and now right. you know how you are now, and you can make the comparison. But for the future, it's hard to do because you don't know how you're going to be in the future. Yeah, exactly. So, so you have nothing to compare it to. So, um, I, I, you know, I'd say, like, what would I tell myself? I mean... I would, I would just constantly, you know, I mean, for me, it just be constantly like, like reminding me to stay active and just like basically stop being lazy or, cause, uh, you know, because I really don't want to be like unfit and fat and out of shape when I get older. That's like, right? and that's the young part of me that, that, that's saying that. But when I get older, it might be like, oh, you know. What's the point of doing all this workout? Let's just relax and just enjoy life. Like, why work out so much? Like, it's like the same right. thing over and over again. And, and you know, why? For what? You, like, it, it, I, I could also, like, almost trick myself to say, like, this is all the ego. Let's just allow ourselves to be fat and enjoy life. Like, what's wrong yeah. with being fat? You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's just enjoy life and just... Because it's ego, you know, like... This, this training all the time and making yourself feel that you're better than other people or whatever because you're fit. You know, like, let's just do away with all that and let's, let's, let's allow ourselves to just just get fat. Who cares? Like, kind of like you see these actors. Like, I saw a movie recently, um, Flight with Denzel Washington, and he's getting out of shape. You know, he's kind of getting, f like, flabby, you know? And, like... You know, when you get older, I mean, when he was young, he was like in really like thin and good. You know, like he's in good shape, and then now yeah. he's getting older. He's kind of let himself go, and even like Russell Crowe, you know, kind of let you know let himself go. I mean, in Gladiator, he was like fit, you know, and right. Bruce Lee died early. But say, what if Bruce Lee himself, when he's eighty, he's like fat, you know, and <laughs> you know, like you know, even Michael Jordan like let himself get a pot belly, and Mike Tyson and. All these people you see letting themselves go, so then it's like, what if that happens to me? And then yeah. and then I'm like the young me, like right now, I'd be like, hey, get your fat ass and work out, you know, like stop like being lazy. So I'd say like the young one, the young me would say tell the the, the old me to stop being lazy, you know, like just move around and you could still like have like physical goals for yourself like the, you, you know it doesn't mean that your life is over or that just because you're not the, the most in shape that you are that you could possibly be in your whole life doesn't mean you should stop it training right. at all you know like let's let's still like have some goals and better yourself like physically when you're older i mean i think intellectually we're gonna always absorb more information we're gonna always watch more videos we're always gonna read more books and, and get more knowledge and more experience that comes with time naturally but physically we could easily let ourselves just like just stop and yeah. I, I don't want that to happen like I want the young me to just be like let's not let let it go like that let's keep going and because I mean you see how we train every day it's like the same thing over and over again and then when you get right. older you might be like, you know what, F this shit, you know, I'm not doing this shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, the same shit over and over again. Like, let's just, let's just let, let's just like, ch chill out. Let's like, just like, lay down. Let's, let's stop working right. out so damn much. Like, you could, when you get older, it could be, it could get like that. Or you're just like, you know what, I'm done with this, man. And then, so I don't want that to happen. I want to constantly be like, no, you know. Like, I want it to be, like, my getaway, like, for my entire life. Like, this is my way to, like, find peace of mind, like, exercising. Right. So I want I want the young me to constantly remind the old me to not stop it, to just keep it going. You yeah. Know? So, what about, what about you? 
it's a tough it's a tough question like you said you know so i don't know that i would have anything like directly to tell myself or advise my older self i think i would probably if i was to time travel and come across my older self i think instead of you know giving some advice or something i'd probably ask questions <laughs> from my older self you know about uh things i'm getting into or whatever and where it's leading and you know what, what where's the pitfalls what to avoid and that kind of thing you know like I, I think i'd look for advice unless i come across my older self and my older self is like a scumbag you know <laughs> <laughs> Like really, <laughs> really not well in whatever way, <laughs> health-wise, mentally, whatever. Hey, eh? like if my older self is, but still, you know, he might have some advice. Don't do what I did. You yeah. Know? So I think I'd ask. I think I'd ask questions. But you know what? When I think about it, I think it's it's easy ask the question to answer. Because I could look at my father and be like, that's my older self. Right. And, then, and then look at the things that I feel that he needs to, that he could probably improve upon. Not necessarily his physical, because that's already like great, but more about like his understanding of like the way the, the way the world changes and how time changes and how you need to adapt. Like for so, so for example, like he doesn't even use email, but yeah. And he doesn't even really use the internet. But if I stayed like that, and when I'm older, that could like, that could like, you know, that could um, prevent me from achieving greater success. Like if, yeah. I'm, if I'm against like modern technology, for example, that could prevent me from growing. Like it's basically being like restricted by tradition. Right. So I think when you get older, I think it's important to kind of like, not like just... Like to, to be open to new things sometimes and not to restrict yourself to, to tradition. You right. know? But to like, you want to find the right way. So for example, like, it's not that we should all drive cars all the time. I mean, he runs a lot and he bikes a lot and swims. That's like physical activity. But that's good. But if we just like, see like, you know what? We'll never drive a car ever because it's against tradition it's not necessarily a good thing or if you're just all like into like technology and all you do is drive all the time you never walk you never run that's not good for your body right. so it's like technology is not like all evil but it's not all positive either you know if all we do is just like if we're on the internet all day long and we don't ever like spend time with our family like face to face that's not good yeah. you know so we need to like balance it and I feel that when you get older you need to kind of like learn to understand the younger generation by kind of like adapting to the new world because it's different yeah. now, you know? Things are different. You know, like even for you, you're older than me, but like you're, you're like utilizing technology. You know more about technology than I do. You know, telling me about like this computer or this camcorder. Like you're, right. you're like using that to your advantage and that puts you in a position where you can, you're even at a better position to educate people because you're utilizing technology. But if right. you don't utilize technology, you have all this wisdom, but then nobody even knows about you because you're not even like using technology. And even like my father being in videos inspires, inspires people that he doesn't know. Yeah. And, and if I didn't put him on video, nobody even know about him. So I think that, you know, when you get older, like to maintain that edge we have to like adapt with the modern world and then we could kind of like help guide the youth towards a better direction yeah but if we're like you know if we lock ourselves in a cave and we just criticize them all day and say they're just a bunch of idiots they don't know what the hell they're doing and but then we don't like reach out there to them then they're just gonna it's gonna be worse for them and right. then they're gonna be like oh you're just an old fart you don't know what the hell you're talking about but then actually, you know a lot, and then they um, they could gain respect from you when they get to know you more and see that, hey, you know what, you know, I think that when I'm his age, 
you know, he's like advanced beyond my years. It's not just all about physical, but when you get older, your 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 intelligence and your spirit should keep growing way beyond the youth. And that's what they need. They need they need that that intelligence, that wisdom that you have to share, but they're just so focused on the physical. And yeah. um, basically if you show them through hard work in the physical that you can meet them at their level or even go beyond then they have no other choice but then to really like respect your in a way like your 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 um your ability to teach them right you know because you pretty much like are demonstrating through example like a higher way of living you know like the body mind and spirit you know but if right. you, if you let yourself go um, and you don't live the proper proper way, they're gonna disrespect you. Just like I saw in the movie, like the, the movie Flight with Denzel Washington, he was just like an alcoholic, he was a drunk, he was a drug addict, and his son was like freaking like screaming at him and swearing at him <clears throat> like he wanted to box him because he was so pissed off at him. You know, yeah. and, but then at the end of the movie, he kind of redeemed himself because he admitted to his like, his alcohol problems and stuff like that, and then he put through, um, he put effort to fix the problems, and then his son um, started to respect them, and then they started to have like a good relationship. Uh, you know, so. Yeah, no, it's true though that like that is a it's a really common problem I think with the with old with older people as people get older, today at least that they don't keep up with the technologies, you know, or they don't know, they don't understand, um, like why people are into some of the, some of the popular things that they are. Like I've seen, I've seen some of my older relatives, you know, like my parents and my aunts and uncles and stuff get on Facebook and then, and then, you know, a lot of them drop, dropped off, like quit. They tried it out and then they dropped off. And, uh, you know, they found they had one problem or another that they didn't like. They didn't like Facebook or whatever. But to me, I think, you know, if you're not on those social networks one way or another at this point in the game, you're going to get you're going to get law, <laughs> you know, pretty soon. Nobody accepts checks. Then what are you gonna do, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a. I see that happen a lot with older people, and and it is they kind of like they kind of remove themselves from the, from the game of, like from the social game, in to such an extent that, you know, their younger relatives really aren't benefiting from them, like you said, you know, like we could we could get a lot more from old from being around the older people, but, you know, if they're going to, if they, you know, not enjoy all of these things that, that we enjoy technology wise or food wise, you know, you can't, if they won't try sushi, cause you know, they've never tried sushi or whatever. They just want steak and potatoes for every meal. You're not going to take them out to dinner every time you go out, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I do see that. That's a. A good example of something that. They just make a judgment about it. They're not interested in keeping up with the with what's new. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good for that video, right? Mm-hmm. All right.